All right, intelligence is a multifaceted concept influenced significantly by genetics, but just like height, your DNA can often allow you much more than you think, so today I'll tell you how to maximize that. First, what exactly is intelligence? It's not just IQ that makes you smart, it's a complex concept that encompasses various mental capabilities. Things like cognitive abilities. This includes reasoning, problem solving, planning, abstract thinking, and comprehending complex ideas learning and adaptation, the capacity to acquire new knowledge and skills and adapt to changing environments or new challenges, emotional intelligence, the ability to recognize, understand and manage one's own emotions, as well as to recognize, understand and influence the emotions of others, social intelligence, the ability to navigate and negotiate complex social relationships and environments, creativity, the ability to generate new and innovative ideas, Practical intelligence, the ability to solve everyday problems and navigate everyday tasks effectively. Now that we know what is smart, let's talk about how to more smart. Number 1. Nutrition Think of your brain like a Bugatti. You wouldn't want to fill it with regular gas, right? It needs the good stuff, like that high-octane fuel, the 91-94 stuff. So omega-3 fatty acids, found in fish like salmon and trout, these are crucial for brain health. They build cell membranes in the brain and have anti-inflammatory properties. Antioxidants Foods like blueberries, dark chocolate and nuts are rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants are molecules that protect our cells from damage caused by these suckers called free radicals which can damage cells. Antioxidants neutralize free radicals by giving them an electron. It stabilizes the free radicals and stops them from causing harm to our cells. Neutralizing them protects your brain from oxidative stress and inflammation. Vitamins and minerals. You need various vitamins, especially B ones. Leafy greens, whole grains and eggs have those, along with folate. These are vital for brain function. Imagine your brain cells are like construction workers. Omega-3s are their tools, antioxidants are cigarettes and vitamins are girls walking by to be catcalled. You need all those to be a good construction worker. Also, avoid often ultra-processed food consumption. It might be linked to dementia. Exercise. Physical activity is a proven brain booster. When you exercise, your body releases chemicals that promote brain health, such as endorphins. These make you feel good and help reduce stress. And stress is bad for a lot of reasons. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor. This protein encourages the growth of new neurons and strengthens existing ones. Google says that research shows that vigorous, high-intensity workouts trigger the greatest increase in circulating BDNF. Think of exercise as a power-up for your brain, enhancing connectivity and cognitive function. Aerobic exercise is also good, has been linked to improved memory, learning and mental flexibility. Sleep Sleep is essential for brain health. During deep sleep, your brain consolidates memories and washes itself. Here's why you shouldn't skip on those Zs. Memory consolidation. As already mentioned, sleep helps transfer information from short-term to long-term memory. See hippocampus? Basically here your short-term memory is zipping around in circles and goes to its resting place mostly while you sleep. Toxin clearance. During sleep, the brain's glymphatic system removes waste products that accumulate during the day. Remember the Bugatti metaphor? Yeah, so sleep is like changing its oil and washing it. Without those, it's not gonna function and will just look disgusting. Tips for better sleep. Establish a routine. Try to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Create a sleep-friendly environment. Keep your bedroom dark, cool and quiet. Avoid stimulants. Limit caffeine and electronic devices before bedtime. As I already mentioned in my height video, caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant, so it stimulates you, and that's the opposite of sleep. In general, though, the more you learn about sleep, the more you understand how great of a performance-enhancing boost it is. If we had a drug that did the same effects, it would probably be the most popular thing in the world. Think of brain like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Engage in activities that challenge your mind. Reading. Expands your knowledge and improves language skills. Puzzles and games. Enhance problem-solving abilities and cognitive flexibility. Learning new skills. Whether it's playing an instrument or picking up a new language, learning stimulates neural growth and connectivity. Creative activities. Drawing, painting and writing stimulate different parts of your brain. Jogging at 2 a.m. while listening to two self-improvement podcasts at two times speed at once while gargling piss. Okay, that one may not be true, but you get the idea, you have to challenge yourself. Consider learning and mental stimulation as your brain's workout routine. Progressive overload and sufficient stimulation is key. Real quick, consider subscribing, it doesn't cost you anything and it means a lot to me. Plus, you can always unsubscribe if you change your mind. Social interactions Humans are social creatures and interacting with others is crucial for brain health. Social activities can reduce stress. Connecting with friends and family lowers stress levels boost cognitive skills. Conversations and social activities stimulate various cognitive functions. 
Think of social interactions as the social network for your brain, strengthening connections and fostering mental well-being. If you ask me, I would recommend this be in real life and not social media. Ways to enhance social interactions. Join clubs or groups. Participate in activities that interest you. Volunteer. Helping others can provide a sense of purpose and increase social engagement. Maintain relationships. Regularly catch up with friends and family. Stress management. Chronic stress can wreak havoc on your brain. Here's why managing stress is vital. Cortisol. High levels of this stress hormone can damage hippocampus. Again, the area of brain responsible for memory and learning. Mental clarity. Stress clouds your thinking and impairs decision making. Again, exercise helps. It reduces stress hormones and promotes relaxation. Pick up some interesting hobbies that help you relax. Limit toxins. Substances like alcohol, drugs, lead, various viruses and bacteria, and of course those random memories about that time in kindergarten when your crush saw that you puked all over your bed during sleep time, can negatively impact your brain health, like impair cognitive function by damaging neurons and reducing cognitive abilities. They can also disrupt sleep, and sleep is good. Think of toxins as letting a rabbit badger loose inside your locked car, will only increase stress and who knows what else. Also definitely not gonna make you sleep better. Strategies to avoid toxins. Moderation. If you choose to drink alcohol, do so in moderation. Avoid drug use. Stay away from recreational drugs. Additional tips for boosting intelligence. Hydration. Your brain is about 75% water. Staying hydrated is crucial for maintaining optimal cognitive function. Remember that. A healthy gut. Your gut health impacts your brain health. Consuming probiotics and prebiotics can support a healthy gut microbiome, which in turn supports your brain function. Sunlight and vitamin D. Exposure to sunlight helps your body produce vitamin D, which is essential for brain health. Spend at least 15 minutes outside each day. Avoid air pollution. This can be dangerous for many reasons. Also, ingest as little microplastics as you can. They can disrupt your endocrine system, and hormones are very, very important. Anyway, be careful out there and be smart. Also, like and subscribe.